everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the new Friction Light Natural Colors. So some of you might be familiar already with the other Friction Light colors. So these are erasable highlighters. They, the ink disappears at high heat, so basically with friction. That's how it works. Some of you might be familiar with the very popular six pastel colors that they have also come in some bright colors if you like the more traditional highlighter colors i personally am a fan of the pastels so now they have six new colors in the series the natural colors so we've got coral pink red pale orange light green sky blue and gray and I'm sorry you'll have to forgive me I'm getting a little bit of laryngitis this winter so videos are a bit hard so let me move these out of the way and I want to show you the swatching I've done of them so I've done some swatching on white and some swatching on this is an MD notebook so it's the MD cream color paper I really like these natural colors on top of the cream. I just think it makes them look, you know, that much more natural, basically. You know, they come across a little bit more subdued and not as bright, in my opinion. So you can see them there. And then I've done an eraser demonstration for you, too, just so you can see that they erase. Yeah, so I also have made up... My February Jibun Techo started mocking that up with these um, friction light, so you can see them there. So that's kind of that. And actually, I haven't, so let's see. So I've got, let's see. So I've swatched red, blue, light green, pale yellow, and pink. I haven't swatched the gray on here yet, so let me do that for you real quick. I'll just, let me think what I actually have something. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have something right here, so I'll use it here. So you can see how the gray looks on there. And then, luckily, because this is erasable, I went over the line here, and so I'm just gonna unsmudge that so that it's not going off the line that's kind of one of the nice things about these highlighters so i tend to of course if i'm highlighting a printed document then i'm just going to be highlighting over the top duh but if I am highlighting, if I want to make a note and have it highlighted, I often will actually write on top of the highlighter. And that's just because I find that some pens that I like to use will smear easily with highlighter on top of them. So I just want to quickly show you kind of what I'm talking about here. Let me just use this. Actually, I'm going to go in a little bit. So, let me do. Let me do. So this is a pen that a lot of people like, the Pentel Energel In Free. And then down below, I'm just going to make, this is going to be, this is just like regular Sarasa clip ink. Um, and then ballpoint pens I tend not to have any smear problems with, so I'm not so concerned with testing that. But just to give you an idea... I'm going to do the sky blue over the top. So that's over the top of the inner gel. And you can see there really is not smear. It's just, it's 
highlighted beautifully, no problems. Now I'm gonna do it over the top of the Sarasa clip, and it's not terrible, but there's definitely some smear. So, that's all to say that the, you know, the use, the way you use your highlighter, whether or not you want to do highlighting on top of your own writing, all of these, all of these things w w kind of add together to contribute to whether or not you are going to like a particular hi highlighter. So the reason I say that is, you know, if you are somebody who likes to highlight over the top of your own ink, you want to be selective about what ink you're pairing with what highlighter. And the only way to really figure that out is to do a little bit of testing that's unique to you. I get a lot of questions about highlighters, you know, oh, do they smear ink? And this is just to show you that it really depends on the ink. So if you're someone who wants to highlight this over the top of gel ink, you know, I'd really recommend pairing it with a quick drying ink like the inner gel. It works beautifully. If you're using Sarasa Clip all the time, then I'd recommend doing something more like I do, which is I lay my highlighter first. And then I actually end up writing over the top of it. Especially if I'm doing something in my planner. But it also can depend on how long you plan on letting the ink dry. So if you've written it a while ago, you're going to get almost no smearing at all. If you're highlighting as soon as you're writing, you're more apt to get smear because the ink hasn't finished drying already. So I hope that helps. I just, you know, I just really want to emphasize that the highlighter you choose is going to be unique to you in terms of smearing and unique to what you like to use already. So the next thing I want to do here, now that I've shown you know, these different swatches, is I would like to compare, do a little bit of comparing of some of these colors to the smoky colors that Uni Ball Mitsubishi released with Propus window. So now again, these are not erasable. So if you want an erasable highlighter, then you're not going to care so much about the difference. But if you're curious about the, the color difference or just want, you know, a comparison to something you already have, I thought it would be fun to kind of compare these. So these five smoky colors, which I really enjoy, um, not all of them makes you know sense as a comparison, but here is your friction natural red, and I'm gonna put this next to the Mitsubishi smoky red, so you can kind of see the difference there. And then the greens don't really compare at all. I'll do it just for those of you who are curious, because why not? But I mean, the light green really is much lighter than your smoky green. It's just, like I said, it's not even really a comparison. But the oranges should be interesting. So we've got smoke orange here, and then our pale orange here. Well, that's kind of nice to see that side by side and then we might as well do the blues although those seem very different to me as well I like that sky blue a lot and I also like the smoke blue but they're just very different they're different uh, shades I actually feel like the smoke colors are a little bit more what I would call natural personally so this one is smoke gray and then we've got the natural gray. 
And there isn't something to compare it to really, but here is the coral pink. So I hope that gives you a good idea about what these new colors are all about. And, and also I hope if you're someone who thinks that your gel ink smears with highlighters and you want to try these, you will consider trying an inner gel ink. This just happens to be the inner gel in free, but inner gel makes a lot of different pens. And then one final thing I wanted to say about these is you can get them individually, which is nice. A lot of people let you know just really want to try one color, they don't want to buy a whole pack, or they Maybe they buy a pack and they use up one color because it ends up being their favorite and then they want to replace just that color in their pack. So I love that you can get them individually or as a set. I think that is great and handy. And, you know, I would really like the way the bodies look. Let me just show you a comparison so you can see kind of how the design is different. I just think the natural colors, they've just done a more elegant barrel design, basically, just in terms of colors. The cap is now, you know, clear, which just looks really clean, and the color fades out. It's like gradient. It's just really pretty, and, and the gold lettering is just really nice. I think I just am excited about this new design. So let me know if you have any questions about these new colors of Friction Light. Again, they're called the natural colors and you can get them singly or in a six color set. And I do have a couple sets to give away. So stay tuned to make sure you're following us on Instagram so that you can see when we announce a giveaway for those. All right, have a lovely day. Bye-bye.